Hey everyone, I'm Joseph, and today's video is going to be for uh, those of you that are having trouble uploading files uh, to GitHub Pages websites, um, and then getting a correct URL to view that file afterwards. So I have my repository called Hello World. It is already set up on GitHub Pages. I've done that part. So I have an index.html. Um, if I check my settings, go to settings. Uh, recently, you used to go to settings and scroll down to GitHub pages on the main settings tab, but they've moved that recently. So now it is over here. Okay. Uh, once you have this set up, you should see this green box with a check mark, and it'll tell you the main URL. That is the root URL of your GitHub pages website. Um, my repository is called Hello World, so you'll see I have the directory name Hello World at the end of the URL. I have https colon slash slash my username dot github dot io slash Hello World. Right? That's the repo name, Hello World. So this whole uh, this whole URL over here, that is the home page, the main root URL of this GitHub pages site. And if I open it up, which I already have a tab open, right, it just displays Hello World centered on the page. All right, so that's my root URL. If I check out my code, the only thing I have in here is an index.html. I also have a git ignore. Um, the only thing that it is ignoring now is desktop.ini because I'm in a Windows platform. Um, that's pretty useful. So I have my repo set up. And I also have my GitHub desktop app or program set up, okay? Uh, I highly recommend to use this. You can make a lot of changes through the web browser, uh, but this is going to be a lot better. Uh, you can't do 100% of the things that GitHub allows you to do through here. Some things you are going to have to get through the, um, either through the website or, um, or you're going to have to type that in. Um, and the, the user interface on the app, on the desktop app, is not going to do everything for you. But for our needs, it is going to do everything. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, we're going to take a new page inside of a folder. Okay, so we'll have a directory and a file, and we'll put that into our existing website. So I have uh, right here, this is where my existing website is. All right, so I have desktop.ini that I'm ignoring. And I'm ignoring that with the git ignore file. Uh, and in this other git folder, that's all the stuff that the GitHub desktop program needs in order to keep this thing running. Okay, so we're not going to pay attention to any of those. I have my index.html is the only file I'm concerned with in my website. Okay, and when I create a new one, which I have, I'm just going to drag it over here move it over here so I have a folder called new dash test and inside of that is another index.html and of course another desktop.ini which we can ignore uh, if I open up sublime text now sublime text is monitoring for file changes so it automatically sees that I have this okay. so let's look at hello world uh, it just has some text and it says hello world to get a little bit of CSS to center that text. Nothing special there. Uh, this other one is pretty much exactly the same thing, except a little bit larger font size. This one says huzzah uh, and has a different title. So pretty much the same page. The content of the page is not what we're looking at here. We want to upload this to our website. So I have a folder with a file in it. As soon as I click on the GitHub desktop program, it's monitoring for file changes. So it notices it right away. It says, hey, you got a new file and it's inside this folder. You can see that right here. Hopefully you can read that. So you can see that before I upload it, I do have to commit. So this is the way GitHub works. Uh, first you commit things and GitHub is going to write internally all the changes that it needs. Uh, we don't, have to understand exactly how that works. It's just going to do that. And once we have committed it, then we can push it to the live server. 
Uh, so before you can commit, you do have to write a comment here. Um, so uh, it's going to fill it in the blank for you. If it's a single file like it is right here, it's going to say create the file index.html. I can leave it that way. Or I can write uh, new file test. All right. You don't have to put a description, although it is helpful, especially if you're working with uh, more than just yourself. But I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm going to commit to main. Right. So now I've committed my changes. They are not going to be viewable yet. I have to push those changes, push to the origin, push to the server out in the cloud. Right. Once it does that, it's going to refresh, and double check that there were no changes because GitHub is made to be used by teams. So there may have been changes on the server. In my case, I'm doing this by myself. Uh, there is no changes on the server. Uh, so coming back to the website, if I refresh the page, I will immediately be able to see that this new file in the folder has been updated. 33 seconds ago, click on the folder and new file is there as well. Okay, so that's already there. There is a bit of a delay before it becomes actually viewable live on the internet, uh, but it will be live here, okay? Inside your GitHub repo where in the code view, it will be viewable there. Um, and then we'll have a look at how to get the URL for that. Um, Remember, if we go into settings and we look at pages, this is our main URL here, right? So at the end of our main URL, what we need to do is add the folder or directory name, right? So it should end with a slash, a forward slash, and then for every directory will be the directory name, a forward slash, directory name, a forward slash. In our case, we just have one. So our URL will be all of this, plus at the end it will be new-test, another forward slash, and then it will be the file name. In our case, the file name is index.html. That's actually the default file name for uh, pages on the internet. So we could leave that part blank, but I'm going to write it in anyway. And I have a tab here already open that has this entire URL already written. And you'll see it says 404, the file has not been found, and that's because I opened up this tab before we even uploaded it. Uh, and then GitHub is nice enough to not just leave everything blank, but it puts this file not found error whenever you try to access something that is not been found, that doesn't exist. So I have https colon slash slash uh, my username dot github dot io. Everybody will have github dot io. Everybody will have their own username. The repository name is going to be the first directory on this list. Mine is called hello dash world. The directory that I put my file into is called new dash test. And then the file name is index.html. So if I do a refresh on this, Huzzah, there we go. This is the file that we just uploaded, right? Um, some notes to point out for you. Uh, the internet does not like spaces in file and folder names, so please don't put spaces in there. Um, that's not to say that it just won't work because it can work, but it is not going to be very good. You're gonna have these things like oh, percent signs and percent two zero and percent other things for other characters that you might put in there. So try not to put wacky characters in there. Like uh, definitely don't put ampersands, for example, uh, or question marks. Don't put that in your file names. Um, and try not to put spaces in your file names instead. You'll see that I put a dash in between the two words in each of mine. Um, that's a good uh, example to use a dash instead of a space. If you really want that to be in there, very popular, uh, but try not to use spaces. And if you accidentally type a space in your URL while you're typing it, um, just take that out of there uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay. All right. So that covers that. Right, let's come back to our pages. All right. So we're in code view. If you were to click on this page right here, okay. So let me go back. I'm at the home page of the code view 
for my website. And if I click into the directory and then I click onto the file, if I were to copy this URL up here and give that to somebody or link that, uh, that's going to link to this page and they're going to look at the code. Now that might be what you want them to do, but if you want them to actually see the page, that is not the link that you want. The link that you want is going to be actually the end part of this. That is correct. That's the, the new test folder that we made in the index.html file that we made. But that needs to go on the end of the home page URL where you have https colon slash slash whatever your username is uh, dot github dot io slash hello world whatever you, or whatever your repository name is another slash and then the directory and the file name of whatever file you're trying to link. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and have a great day.